Fellow Kenyans, I want to make it official today and to say that Kenya is already in its third wave. There was the first wave, the second wave which was around November, but as we had predicted in the Ministry of, Wealth, of Health, come the month of March, we may begin to see some surge upwards. Today, we report the highest number since last year at 713 people who have contacted the disease, the virus, over the last 24 hours only. This is out of a sample size of some 5,230, but even as we increase the sample size to a minimum of 7,000, having received the necessary reagents, the sheer number itself tells you the whole story. Today, also, the positivity rate that we are announcing at about 14% is also the highest one since the last, um, uh, the last phase is sometime in November. I therefore want to support and agree with the Council of Governors that now the time has come to start looking back at some of the measures that we have taken, whether to increase and to stop and make some mandatory, mandatory um, requirements of our population. And therefore, as we debate this matter today and tomorrow, the President will be speaking to us on Friday, and on that date, by that date, we will have agreed, and with our, science, with our scientists, immunologists, and the modeling team, to see where we are going forward and the measures that we must take. I think all Kenyans will be aware that the third wave has been in other parts of the world, including Europe, with devastating effects. And our hope and prayer is that this is not what we are going to experience in our nation. Already, I think you have seen an increase in numbers of the cases that are in um, uh, cases that are in our hospitals. We have seen an increase in numbers of those who are in ventil on ventilators. We have seen an increase in number on those who need oxygen. And therefore, we must continue with vigilance to ensure that these cases do not overrun our healthcare system. I know that this time round, People feel tired. I am tired as well. People are strained. It's taken a, a toll on us over the last one year. But we also know that it is at this time when we feel the way we feel that we can let our guard down, adopt a don't care attitude, that then we will be hit hardest. And therefore, let's, let's all work together. Let's renew our commitment, even as this new one comes at us, let's renew our commitment to ensuring that we can save each other and save our loved ones.